Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing off my horror movie collection shelf. Um, I did a video about two years ago showing off, uh, you know, my collection. It was a different room, it was a different shelf, and um, yeah, it's been about two years, so I thought I'd update you on, you know, the, the horror library. So up here I have my Cedar Chucky family box set, my uh, McFarlane Bride of Chucky set, and a signed uh, Sleepaway Camp DVD box set uh, signed by Felissa Rose. So to start off the collection, um, actually, so I'm going to have 4Ks, Blu-rays, and then DVDs, and then TV shows at the end. But to start off, we have... Alien, American Psycho, Beetlejuice, Color Out of Space, Doctor Sleep, The Evil Dead, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Gremlins, Halloween the Original, Halloween 2018, Hellboy with Ron Perlman, a uh, recent pickup, Hocus Pocus. And uh, if you're curious as to why it doesn't have the slipcover, if it's those dip down type of slipcovers, I usually don't keep them. I don't throw them away. I know some people, you know, they want them or they are unable to get them. So I, I, I give them away usually to people who need them or worse comes to worse, I just sell them for like two bucks or a dollar. Uh, the Invisible Man, It, the two film collection, Jaws, Overlord, um, I heard this was supposed to be a Cloverfield, like, sequel or spinoff, Pitch Black, Arrow Video's first 4K, well, this and Flash Gordon, but that's on the other shelf that you can't see, not yet, not yet, Maniac, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, The Shining, Suspiria, probably my favorite 4K uh, transfer. It just, it looks phenomenal. Um, the colors popped, but not too much. It looked great. It moved smoothly. And given that it was shot on film, it almost looked like it was shot today. VFW, Zombie, and then we get into the two packs. This is Love at First Bite and Once Bitten. Uh, mainly got it for Once Bitten, but I still have yet to see Love at First Bite. I just, I love young Jim Carrey. It's so great. Terror Vision, The Video Dead. 28 Days Later. 28 Weeks Later. The Addams Family from the 90s. I think, yeah, it was the 90s. I was like, I'm not tripping. Um, the newer Adams Family, and you'll notice I have some Halloween, like, family-friendly movies mixed in here, just because it's more like anything spooky-related. That's, that's the best way to explain it. Alice, Sweet Alice. Annabelle Comes Home. Army of Darkness, and this actually just got announced that it will get a 4K from Screen Factory, so, uh, can't wait for that. Bad Ronald, Basket Case, Black Sunday, The Blob, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Cannibal Holocaust, not sure if I can show that, but it's too late now. The Original Carrie, which I hope gets a 4K as well, I just, I, I'm such a fan of this movie. Uh, I think that was actually the first book I read from Stephen King, too. The Carrie Remake with Chloe Grace Moretz. Child's Play, Chucky's my favorite slasher. Chronicle, much more sci-fi than horror, but it had enough horror elements that I'd include it in the shelf. Second shelf, we have the Chucky 7 movie collection. Corpse Bride, probably my favorite Tim Burton movie. Clown, Cult of Chucky, and then Curse of Chucky. 
And I know that Curse came out like before Cult, but I just have them alphabetically. Dark Shadows. The Devil Bat with Bella Lugosi. Dressed to Kill. Dolly Dearest. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Ernest Scared Stupid. The Evil Dead Remake. The Exorcist. Firestarter. The Fly, the original with Vincent Price. I do want to pick up that uh, Scream Factory box set. I just uh, haven't really been able to, I guess. Or, you know, I'm waiting for a sale. Frankenhooker, one of my favorite horror comedies, just so hilarious and reminds me of Reanimator, which, by the way, I don't have yet. I will get it, though. Freddy vs. Jason, Friday the 13th, and Scream Factory actually just, I think they're releasing it in like a week, uh, uh, like as of the time this video is being made. Um, they just released a box set with all the movies in it, so probably going to end up picking that one up. The Friday the 13th Remake, The Fun House, Gremlins 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, the Halloween 10 film, I think 10 disc box set. Um, I know Screen Factory had the individual cases, I just never ended up getting that one, which is fine, I actually kind of prefer this one. Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers, this is the producer's cut. Happy Death Day. Um, I did like the second one, except that was much more of just a straightforward comedy. A Haunted House 2. And your two questions are, why don't I have the first one? And why do I even have this? Um, I have no idea. Hexen. So over my quarantine, I basically really got into silent films. And this one was just such a great one. Um, definitely check it out if you haven't. The Hills Have Eyes, The Howling, I Bury the Living, It, Jack Frost, Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, uh, probably won't be picking up the third one for obvious reasons, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Leatherface. Um, I got this pretty cheap and it's not as, you know, it wasn't the worst. I know some people really didn't like that, but I thought it was fine. Leprechaun, the complete movie collection. Little Monsters, uh, recent release. Just so happy that's on Blu-ray now. Maximum Overdrive. Misery, I really hope this one gets a 4K. And Monster House. On to the third shelf, we have Multiple Maniacs from John Waters, The Mummy, The Mutilator, also known as Fall Break, Night of the Living Dead. Um, I really hope this gets a 4K. I know it's public domain, but I think they still have to go through like licensing stuff for who gets to release it. So, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Nightmare Cinema. Nightmare on Elm Street 2 and 3. Um, so I actually ended up getting this before I got the 7 film collection. Um, I think I found this like really cheap for like 3 bucks. And then funny enough, when I got this, um, the little prongs that hold the disc in for uh, the second disc, which was 2 and 3, they're on the same disc like this one was, um... They, like, were messed up, so I just happened to, like, somehow get lucky in getting this first. Uh, have no idea how that happened. Next, Nosferatu. My favorite movie. I just, I, it's always such a go-to for me. I love it. It's, like, got the right gothic atmosphere. It's got enough, like, horror in it, but it's not exactly a scary one. I just, it's a silent film. I don't know. Just something about it makes it my favorite movie. I'll probably have to like do a ranking on like top 10 movies or something. The Omen box set. That's what it looks like. You can see. Um, I do like Screen Factory's box sets, so definitely excited to see not only the Fly box set, but the Friday the 13th one coming out. 
The Phantom of the Opera, Poltergeist, and another box set. This one's put out by Full Moon, the Puppet Master uh, 12 movie box set. And it has each one in an individual case. And then I think this last one's like a special features documentary type of thing. The Return of the Living Dead. Hope that comes to 4K. Part 3. I do need to pick up Part 2. I actually, I like that one uh, just as much as the third one. And eh, never mind, I like the third one better. Uh, um, Rosemary's Baby. Saw 8 film collection. Um, I did have an older like edition of this. It just, uh, I don't know, I just felt like updating it a little bit. The other one was just the case didn't snap right. It was like just the little things. And it was really cheap. I got this for like 12 bucks. Scooby-Doo. Scream 4 and Scream 5 film set, even though it only has the first three. Um, I believe it's because the fourth one was Anchor Bay and um, the, the rest were like Miramax and I think they were both uh, whatever that company is that's Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Seed of Chucky. Uh, I believe that's a Canadian release. Shivers. This one I still have yet to unbox. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Sleepaway Camp. Slumber Party Massacre. Son of Kong. Not exactly scary, but it's a monster movie. Um, I liked it for what it was. Stage Fright. I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, I haven't seen this, and I also haven't seen the original. I know, I know. I still have yet to see that. The Strangers Pray at Night. I need to get the first one, but something's telling me there's a 4K, but at the same time, not sure, so we'll see if I pick it up. Fourth shelf now, we have the stuff. Uh, one of my favorites, Sweeney Todd. Terrifier. Um, I actually did meet uh, David Howard Thornton. He was really awesome um, and really crazy luck. That was my first convention and I got to go and it was the year before, you know, everything happened 2020. You know, they had to cancel a bunch of the conventions. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 13 Ghosts. This is the end. It's an apocalyptic comedy. It has Satan and demons in there. So, I mean, it's horror enough for me to be on this shelf. The Thing. To Hell and Back, Trick or Treat. I really hope this gets a 4K as well, even if it's an upscale, just I really think it could use one. I don't know, I feel like that HDR would pop. The Vampire Lovers, Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were-Rabbit, because it has, it's like werewolf, it's got spooky elements, I don't know, I felt like putting it here. White Zombie, um, Willard, um, I actually have not seen the original, I know, I know, but I loved Crispin Glover in this, I thought he did great, and I'm happy that Scream Factory put it out to Blu-ray. And wrong turn, now to the DVDs. So first up we have Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein, like I said, just all spooky stuff here. They meet the Wolfman, too. The Brainiac. Oh, this one's a good one. Cannibal Flesh Riot. Um, if you haven't seen this, definitely see if you can track it down and watch it. It's crazy good. Um, Gris Grimsley, who made it. This is based off of uh, comic characters that he created. And it's live action. It's black and white. It's like 30 minutes, and it's just one of the coolest like Halloween short films I've ever seen. Um, I'm not, I don't follow his comic stuff too much. I just mainly follow his art. You know, I haven't like read comics he's created too much. I've just, uh, I had a friend show me this. Then I got into his artwork and he's just, uh, he's, he's great. Definitely like track down and watch this movie if you can. Clown Town, another one from Dollar Tree. The College Girl Murders, uh, weird cult film. 
That's all I can really say about it. Then we have Dollhouse, Dr. Alien, um, another great cult film, and Linnea Quigley's in this for like a millisecond. So that's like the one interesting I can, like one interesting thing I can say without spoiling it. Fido, and I think this has a Blu-ray, but I think, I don't know, I just, I could not find it on eBay or, you know, it's not like on Amazon from when I can find it. Um, I had to look on eBay, still haven't found it. Uh, hopefully I find it for a good price. It's a great zombie movie. Frankie and his pals. Um, I got this from Severin not too long ago. There was only a DVD. Um, it looked good and cheesy, you know, it didn't look like it was going to be a bad cheesy so can't wait to watch that definitely gonna watch that uh you know this month halloween and all that gates of darkness the ginger dead man the haunting of molly bannister hoarders horror vision this one was a free movie sent to me from full moon the killer eye and then on to this series, probably my favorite from Full Moon, Killjoy, Killjoy 2, Killjoy 3, Killjoy Goes to Hell, my favorite out of them, and Killjoy's Psycho Circus. Um, I feel like this series definitely gets uh, overlooked from Full Moon's monster lineup. Then we got Man with the Screaming Brain, The Mermaid's Curse, and uh, this was a blind buy, and I really, really liked it. I was very surprised by how much I liked the story of it, and like, yeah, it's a cheaper movie, cheap budget, but man, sometimes those are the best ones. Near Dark. Um, I know there was a Blu-ray that went out of print. I'm hoping that, you know, gets a Blu-ray or a 4K again. <laughs> one day soon. A Nun's Curse. The Ring Virus. And on to the bottom shelf. And starting down here, we have Scary Godmother, Halloween Spectacular, and The Revenge of Jimmy. Um, if you're a 2000s kid, I'm sure you remember this. And if you don't, you probably just got a crazy flood of nostalgic feelings like it's it's so odd but i don't know i remember it being on around halloween and it was it's drenched in that like halloween goodness i'm i i still watch it around halloween it's cheesy it's weird computer animation early cgi um if you haven't seen it check it out it's it's not anything crazy good but man is it drenched in like that halloween atmosphere Next, we have Robert the Doll. Um, I found this at Dollar Tree. I, I'm more familiar with, like, the legend. Like, I heard about it before these movies even came out. Um, I still have yet to watch them. I hope they're somewhat okay. <laughs> the Scientist. The School. The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Um, I, this is one of my, well, it's not the actual one but i watched this because my dad had a copy of it and uh then i found this at a rental place and they ended up going out of business and so now i have my own copy the snarling tom holland's twisted tales another dollar tree find trick or treat with ozzy osbourne and gene simmons trog Zarkor the Invader. This was another free one from Full Moon. Uh, still have yet to check it out, but uh, thank you for sending me that. Now on to the TV shows. We have the Addams Family Complete series. Uh, I would like it on Blu-ray. You know, I I don't need a 4K or anything. I just like I would think, uh, or I would I would like a Blu-ray because I feel like uh, the quality could actually get a good uptick from that, even though it's black and white. Ash vs. Evil Dead, first season. Ash vs. Evil Dead, season two. Um, probably my favorite out of, like, the three seasons. There's season three. And then these are Elvira's movie Macabre. These are, like, the actual uh, 
movies she would host and it like has the old footage from her show so um i really like them uh this one has doomsday machine and werewolf of washington man eater of hydra the house that screamed legacy of blood and devil's wedding night um there's another one i'm letting my friend borrow the one that has blue sunshine and like some other movie the monsters the complete series again would like would love that on blu-ray too uh a nightmare on elm street freddy's nightmares uh these i actually got these at a convention these it's one case uh there's multiple discs but i found this at a convention for i think only like 20 bucks um they're bootleg but it is cool to actually watch them definitely uh definitely a product of its time you know then lastly i have the stranger things seasons on blu-ray wish i got the 4k this was before i upgraded to that um but there's season one and season two both in that vhs style uh casing then we have the walking dead season one and season five um I do want to eventually maybe complete it. Not all of it, because I definitely stopped watching the show, I think, around season seven or eight. Um, so maybe up to, like, season six, you know. Not all of it was bad, especially those early seasons. They're uh, very memorable and very good. So I hope you enjoyed. That was just me showing off my horror library. I... It's been a while since I updated it, so I'm um, happy to do another video and show off what I've gotten in those two years since I showed you last. But um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in whatever I do next.